Dad, you're going to be late for work. I'll be down in a minute. Hope he wasn't up all night drinking that one. Val seems to think we're never going to get rid of her now. Oh, you know what Val's like. She always exaggerates. Besides, your dad's not a fool. He knows better than to get involved in anything too serious right now. Mm. What's this? Oh! Oh! Do I've just got to find the rest of it underwear. <laughs> Brenda! Come on, then. Oh, Is everything all right? Why? It's like having a teenager in the house again. <laughs> Come on. Well, we got talking late and she didn't have anywhere to sleep. Not that I actually got much in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you'd you better be going because I'm running late for work. All right, I'll see you later in the pub then. I thought you were leaving the village. Not while there's something worth staying for. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was hoping she'd be gone by the time you got up, but we overslept. She shouldn't even be here in the first place. What if Gabby had seen you with her? Oh. Well, we were hardly swinging from the ceilings. At your time of life, you shouldn't be doing any kind of swinging at all. Isn't that up to me to decide? You've only just split up from Mum. Couldn't you just wait a few weeks before you start picking up floozies? Your mother is off doing whatever she wants. I don't see why I shouldn't do the same. Oh, hey, I missed you last night. I think she missed you. I'm sure I've just seen Bonnie going into the factory. She did say she was sticking around. What are we going to do? She might end up moving in. She can't. Well, Val doesn't want her. She spent all last week trying to get rid of her. We'll have to talk to her, tell her she's not welcome. Well, Ashley, she is a nutter. Anyway, she's not going to want to go anywhere while she thinks she's onto a cushy number here. Then perhaps we'd better make sure it's not so cushy. I did last night just as much as you did, but it was a mistake. It was also adultery. You're not divorced yet. Oh, who worries about that anymore? I do. I'm a vicar. Yes, and it's his house. You're welcome to stay in the spare room, but there'll be no fornication and no liquor. Oh, God. I can't remember the last time I got through a night without booze. And no taking the Lord's name in vain either. Well, perhaps I'd best be getting back home after all. I'll call you a cab. Which one of you worried about liquor since you started bringing women like that home? Mm. I thought you would have needed an early night, Dad. I suppose you think it's hilarious. Your old dad having a fling. No, I'd never think that. It's 40 years since I was on my own. I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. Hence the fast cars and loose women. Well, I figured that's what bachelors were meant to be into these days. Maybe the younger ones. Look, nobody's saying you're past it. I just think you need a bit of time to adjust. Come on. You need your rest. Here, you can help me take the kids to the park in the morning. I'm sorry, love. I promised Lily I'd take her for a spin first thing. Dad? Well, now I've got the car. It'd be a shame not to use it, wouldn't it? 